Hi, this is Mira from Alaya Pilates. Thank you for joining me today. This is a fundamental mat class. This class is perfect if you are new to Pilates as I'll be going through some of the fundamental Pilates exercises as taught in a Basi Pilates mat flow. So let's begin the class. We're going to start with some shoulder release exercises. Now, I want you to sit down in the most comfortable position. So I have my knee tucked in. You don't have to. You're welcome to sit cross-legged or half a pillow, a cushion underneath your bottom. So find one, a position that is most comfortable. So I'm gonna do like so. Right, we're gonna start rolling the shoulder. Just roll the shoulder up and back. Make it big, make it small, make it medium. Whatever comfortable for you, okay? So I just feel like sometimes we sit down so, so long doing work at the desk and we, we often crunch the shoulders down, or sorry, crunch the shoulders up. So this should help you to release that tension of that shoulder. Turn ahead, left and right, to some neck articulation if you wish to. And let's take a shoulder forward. Just keep it moving. Small, big. I just want that shoulder to start moving, okay? Roll it. Roll it right, left, however you like it. And then the other way, backward, left, right. Keep it moving, move that ribs, move it all, okay? And then shake that shoulders up. And then just release it down. Right, shake your arms a little bit, okay? Now, I wanted to take your right arm up to the ceiling. And I wanted you to grab the right arm with the left hand, reach it up, pull it right up. I want you to take that scapula, the shoulder blade of your right arm up towards your ears, and I want you to expose the rib cage, the side rib cage, the intercostal muscle. Now I want you to then gently pull your body to the left, giving a little stretch around the outside of the right rib cage. So breathing in here, pull it away, feel that stretch, and exhale, one more. Pull it out and up, and exhale. Bring the arm up, let it go, shake it out. Over to the other side, please, left arm comes up. Right hand grabbing the left arm, reach that scapula up to the ceiling, reach up to the sky, and then gently tilt the body to the right. And I'm breathing into the intercostal muscles between your rib cage, expanding them, stretching them. And one more, inhale, reaching out long. And exhale, and release it. That's good. All right, I hope you've come a little bit more alive. Now, let's move on to some lateral breathing. So the ways of we can hold the rib cage, you can do as what I will be doing, the hands on the side of the rib cage. You can cross the arm and grab the ribs like so. Or you can go one arm in the front, one at the back, or the other way too. Okay, I'd like you to choose one position that suits you best. I'm gonna do it this way for the sake of the camera. So you can actually see what's happening with the rib cage. So I want you to inhale from the nose and exhale through the mouth, okay? Now inhaling, take the breath, the air that you breathe in, out to the lungs and to the diaphragm. I want you to then expand the ribs out to the side. And exhale, deflating the ribs. Again, inhale. Pushing out the ribs out to your hands on the side. Exhale, feel the feedback in your hands. Again, inhale. And exhale, and don't forget to sit nice and tall. Try not to slouch here, because it's not going to work as well. So again, inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. Now this time as you exhale, I want you to consciously draw the abdominal wall up 
as you deflate the ribs inward. Let's do two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Belly lifting, lifting the spine tall, growing that spine. One more. Inhale. And exhale, tall, taller, drawing in. Well done. Okay, let's move on. Now, facing to the front of your mat. Right, knees are bent, knees are pointing up to the ceiling, your feet are hip width apart. Have your hands underneath your thigh. Now, I want you consciously just pull up or pull your thighs up to allow the spine to grow tall as well, but I wanted to make sure that the shoulders don't come up with you. So drop them down and down. Actively draw the abdominal up. Setting your body to be ready for this class, okay? Now inhale. Now I want you to exhale and start rocking that pelvis back, right? And Rock it back, go into a flexion in the spine. The arms will stretch out. Inhale, exhale, we need to pull that belly in, scooping in, and you can use your arm to help you up, and then lifting the spine up. And again, exhale, drawing the abdominal in, rock the pelvis, take your spine into a flexion, and get it deeper and deeper till the arms stretch out in breath. Exhale, belly in, body over the hips, inhale, two more, exhale, rock that pelvis, do me a favor, try not to slouch, in breath, exhale, come up and over, and lift, so slouching in, so you're just compressing that spine down, but I want you to lift the abdominal as you go down. The spine wants to pull up and from the pelvis. Okay, so let's do it again. One more time, rounding back. Deep, deep flexion of the spine. In breath, exhale. Bring that body over and then lift the spine up. Let's do one more time. Exhale. Rock the pelvis. Deep, deep flexion of the spine. Stay nice and tall. And you know what, let's go all the way down. Take your body down, head down, just adjust yourself on the mat. All right, bring the feet closer towards the bottom here. Now again, your feet are still hip width apart, your shoulders are nice and broad, your arms are nice and long. Let's do some breathing again here. You can wrap your arms in front of you, body like so, and hands on the outside of the ribs. All right, let's go, inhale. Lateral breathing, expand the ribs sideways, make sure you don't bulge the belly out. And then exhale, draw in. Again, inhale. Exhale. And see for yourself, how much can you expand the ribs out to the side? And how much can you deflate the ribs as you deflate the abdominal? Continue breathing, taking point here that as you draw the abdominal, I want you to just lift the bone alone. So no rocking of the pelvis, just purely abdominal, scooping and engagement. And an inhale, expansion of the rib cage laterally. Exhale, deflating the ribs, drawing up, scooping the abdominal wall, lift the pelvis bone alone. One more time here, guys. Inhale. Shoulders easy. Exhale. Pulling in the ribs, pulling out the abs, and then release the arms down. Okay, let's move on. So, inhale as what you did before. Exhale. Now, I want you to draw the abdominal wall up. Now, here, start to imprint. So, rock the pelvis. Start to imprint the lower back down to the floor. So, deep deflection here, the bottom comes off, and then release it back down again into the starting position, the neutral pelvis position. And exhale, we we'll scoop the belly in, rock the pelvis, imprinting, imprinting, press that lower back down, but this belly needs to be scooped. 
not bulging out yeah and then release it back to that starting position let's go two more here exhale imprinting printing imprinting scooping up nice deep tight abs here and bring it back down to the starting position one more time and exhale a good stretch for the lower back here and then release we'll take it further into pelvic curl so exhale again drawing in deepening imprinting the back now we're going to take up the pelvis the lower back the mid back and all the way up to a bridge position here hold that position for a second i want you to let take off the arms and press the arms on top of the thigh i want you to lift the pelvis up a little higher hold take your arms down by the side and i want you to create a nice straight line from the shoulder all the way to the knees hold an in breath exhale we're going to take the spine down so articulating from the top of the spine down the mid of the spine and the lower and then the pelvis will release back to the starting position let's take it again exhale scooping in imprint the back start peeling off the vertebrae of the floor one at a time bring it up into the bridge position checkpoint here shoulder to the knees in one straight line the ribs doesn't pop up to the ceiling the belly is connected your knees doesn't split out to the side stay in one straight line engage your adductors your inner thighs and then i'll stop talking we roll down and down and roll it all the way to the floor let's do it again exhale scoop it in how much deeper can you get this time and i'm peeling up rolling up the spine up into that bridge position inhale and exhale roll it down roll it down roll it down release the pelvis again exhale belly in scooping in and imprint the lower back peeling up the spine one bone at a time reach it out or reach your thighs out towards the knees stay in a parallel position holding in breath and exhale let's roll down ribs go ribs down mid back down lower back down sacrum down tailbone lengthen now let's do one more time here and exhale last one rolling up curling up peeling up however you want to visualize this movement reach the knees out towards your heels out towards your toes then exhale bring it down imprint every single vertebrae back on the floor and then release the pelvis good job all right stabilize that pelvis try not to rock the body or rock the pelvis then we breathe up pull the belly in lift the left heel up take the foot off and coming up into a tabletop position so we're going to do single leg lift here it's crucial for you to maintain the stability of the pelvis so no arching and no flexing of the back okay so we're going to inhale movement comes from the hip joint and then exhale bring it up again so it's not a knee movement it's the hip moving and exhale we inhale we go down and an exhale you're welcome to have your hands what i have at this moment if that helps you to give you a little bit of feedback or otherwise you can just take your arms down by the side and exhale up inhale deepening the belly in and exhale pull it up two more inhale down with the foot exhale last one down with the foot exhale and then take it down switching over to the other side which is my right leg we're going to pull that belly in as you breathe out i'm going to take my right heel off first and i'm going to peel my left foot up coming up to the tabletop position we inhale exhale inhale again stabilize the pelvis exhale before you lift the leg up the belly needs to be ready to take the weight of the leg all right inhale hold in center exhale chest nice and easy exhale neck nice and long shoulder nice and relaxed your arms are active if you have your arms by the side like i'm doing one more time inhale and exhale 
and let's take the foot down. Like moving on. We're gonna take the first leg up, so my left leg, lift the heel up and bring up to toes. Under tabletop, breathe out, let's take the right leg up, hold that center, joining the left one up. Okay, right, now here, we're gonna take the left leg down as you inhale, belly nice, nice and tight inward. Exhale, let's switch. And then again, inhale. So we keep changing the leg. And an in breath. And exhale, it's a good challenge to stabilize that waistline and that pelvis. Exhale. And in breath. And an exhale. And again, two more. And an exhale. And then last one. And an exhale. Bringing the leg up to tabletop, squeezing the knees and the thighs in. We're just gonna stay here for a second. Take an inhale, squeeze the thighs, pull the belly in, allow the pelvis to settle down. Stay in for three, two, one. Tight, tight, tight. And a lower one foot down, second one down. Well done, guys. All right, now let's extend the right leg long. Okay, I'm gonna take the left leg towards you, so you can have the hands underneath your thigh. I want to pull that left thigh, compress that left hip, like so, okay? Now I'm going to actively ask you to reach the right leg out and then actively compress the left thigh to your body as you breathe out. And then making sure that this pelvis is sinking down to the floor or grounded down to the floor. I don't want you to curl that pelvis up, release it down, reach the right leg, pull that center in, stay here, in breath, exhale, one more, and exhale. Okay, bring in the thigh over the hip, right here. We're gonna reach the leg up, extend the knee, and then we fall, and then reach the leg up, and then we fall. Again, keep that left pelvis grounded on the floor as you extend the leg. So I don't want you to curl that pelvis up here. Yeah? So if it cannot extend, fully extend the leg, that's fine. Just go to however you feel most comfortable with the leg. All right, for today. Two more, reach it out, reach, 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 reach. Feel the hamstring stretching. Last one, reach, 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 hold. We flex the foot, Ooh, good, good stretch. And we flex the foot, reach the heel, point. And then we flex, point. Two more, flex, point. One more, hold that flexed foot. Right, ground the pelvis, little circle. We're gonna bring it towards you, across, inhale. And then exhale. Let a small circle, inhale, across the body, exhale, one more, and an inhale, and an exhale, the other direction please, out, down, across, in breath, and an exhale, and an in breath, and an exhale, try to stabilize the pelvis, inhale, and then last one, hold, flex the foot, take your arms out to the side, but you know what, just bring it, yeah, let's take it out to the side here. Reach the heel away, reach it out here. Now we'll do it without the help of your arms. We're gonna go across and then down. So that was an inhale, sorry. And exhale. And an inhale, cross and down. And an exhale. Stabilize the pelvis, one more set, inhale. And an exhale, stay, reverse. Out, down, across, in. And then exhale, and then in, and then exhale. One more set in, and then exhale, hold, bend the knee, slide the leg out. Let's take the other leg with you. So this is my right thigh. Compress the thigh towards your body here. So in, pressing in, reaching actively the left leg out. And in the right thigh to your chest. Just breathing here. And the right hip grounding down to the floor. One more breath. Compressing, compressing, compressing. And then bring your thigh over the hip here. Right, now I need to extend the knee up and then. All right, extend, reach. 
and fall, and extend, reach, and fall. Again, ground that pelvis if you extend the knee as much as you can. One more time, extend, hold, reflex, Ooh, good stretch, and point. You should feel the stretch at the back of your leg here. And again, flex, we point. Two more, flex, we point. Last one, flex. Let's go to single leg circle here. So we're gonna flex, sorry. We're gonna bring it across and down around. And an exhale, and an inhale, and an exhale. And then allow your arm to help your leg to create a circle movement and stabilize the pelvis. One more, inhale. And an exhale, hold center, other direction, out, down, across, in. And an exhale, and an in. And an exhale, and an in. And an exhale, one more set, in. And an exhale, hold the leg, arms out to the side, let's go. We're gonna go cross and then down, stabilize the pelvis here. You don't have to go big. And then do small, and then exhale. If you find that your pelvis is a little bit unstable, yeah? And then just try to be precise with the movement here. And then exhale, one more, inhale. And then exhale, hold, let's reverse. Out, down, across, inhale. And then exhale, and then in breath, and then exhale. And again, in breath, and exhale. Last set, in breath, and then exhale, hold, bend the knee, take your foot down, bend the other leg too, bring the legs together. And now, let's take your arms up to the ceiling, palms facing towards your thigh here. I want you to go ahead and bend the elbow out to the side like so, like a goal pose position, okay? Like that, all right? Right, now here, now external rotate, externally rotate the shoulder as you bring the forearm back to the floor. Now take care that you don't hyperextend the chest out. Allow the ribs to settle down here. And then bring it back. And again, inhale as you actually rotate the shoulder and actively connect the upper quadrant of your abdominal. And then bring it back. Again, rotate, rotate, rotate. And then exhale. Two more, inhale. And exhale, one more, inhaling, hold that. Now I want you to go ahead and stretch the arms out, stretch it out to a T position, like position with the arm. Now, coming up onto a little tiptoe with your feet. So heels up, knees are nice and tight together. Moving on into a supine spine twist. Now rotating to the axis of the spine, we're gonna inhale towards me from the spine, from the waist. Exhale, pulling that center. Bring your legs back to the middle. Inhale over to the other side. And exhale, obliques are working hard to bring the leg back. All right, so try not to lead the movement with the thigh, but from your center, your abdominal. Inhale over, and then exhale. One more, each like so, inhale. And then exhale, pulling in, pull it in, pull it in. Last one, inhale. Exhale, pulling in, pulling in, pulling in, hold. One leg up to the table, top. Second leg up to the table, top. Squeeze that knees together, let's repeat. Inhale, as we twist. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And an inhale, twisting. And exhale, center. One last one, inhale, the obliques are working hard here. And exhale, good job. Lower one foot down, the second one down, you can have your feet hip width apart, interlacing the fingers and place your hands at the back of your head here. All right, rest your head down. Now, the elbows are gonna come off a little bit from the floor. I want you to reach the scapula out from the spine. The chest is nice, stays nice and open. So, onto a chest lift series here. So as you breathe out, allow the ribs to lengthen down, deflate, and then taking your upper chest into a flexion here. Okay, and an in breath, 
exhale, inhale, prepare, exhale, and lift, inhale, gaze is forward, and an exhale, and again, in breath, two more, in breath, last one, in breath, in what, let's stay here on the exhale, hands underneath the thigh, so grab your hand to the back of your thigh, now use your arm to come up a little higher, but I want you to keep the pelvis stable and now, and this time I want you to rock the pelvis, and release the pelvis back to neutral, but try not to drop the chest, stay in the same height, exhale, and an inhale, two more, exhale, deflate the belly, imprint that lower back, inhale, release back, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to take my one hand off, exhale, so you can see what's happening here, inhale, one more, and then release, transfer your arms back behind your head, and release, well done, moving on into some rotation series, so we're going to exhale, curl up, Let's take the arms forward here, reach it up. And then exhale, we're gonna twist to one side, to my left here, inhale. Exhale, center, exhale, reach and center. Find a rotation from that waistline here. Stabilize the pelvis, gaze to where your fingertips are. One more each side, and center, and hold. Interlace the hands at the back of your head. Hold, hold, hold. Repeat. Twist. In breath. Shoulder blades are off the floor. In breath. In breath. In breath. One more each side. Last one. Center and come down. Feel that burn, well done. All right, let's take your arms up through the ceiling here. We're not done yet. We're gonna take your arms overhead, taking care that your ribs do not pop up. Draw it down. Connect the upper abdominal here onto a hundreds prep. So we're gonna take the arms up, lift the head and the chest up. Coming up, arms down by the side here. Inhale, arms up, head down, arms back. Repeat, and exhale. We'll lift. Inhale, coming up, and then head down. One more time, and exhale, we'll lift. And then coming up, arms up, and then return. Hold, ribs in, one leg up to table. Second leg up, don't bulge that belly. Bring the other leg up, squeeze that knees, pull that belly in, we'll repeat. We exhale, we'll lift, inhale and then return, two more, we exhale, and lift, inhale, and then return, lucky last, exhale, we'll lift, hold, 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 grab the back of your thigh again guys, I want you to slightly bend the elbow, scoop the belly in, curl that pelvis, we're going to rock, 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 so imprint the lower back, rock, 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 two more, rock, Last one, rock, and coming up. Okay, good job. Right, moving on to our rolling like a ball. We're gonna have your hands on that shin bone closer towards your ankle. Okay, you wanna draw that feet closer towards you, bring the heels up onto a little tippy toe first, balance on your tailbone, so find your tailbone. Again, do me a favor, please don't slouch, right? active back lifting up, an active abdominal bringing your spine into flexion, okay? So don't compress, all right? Don't, take, don't let the gravity take the weight of your body down to the well, okay? So balance on your tailbone, pull in that center in, and you're gonna lift that feet off. All right, gaze towards your belly, please. Lock all the joint, pull in that belly in. Now we're gonna inhale to rock back, 
keeping the shape, exhale. And try not to fling the legs up to help you up. So we're gonna pull the abdominal in and control the rocking, control the spine without the abdominals. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale. Three more, inhale, exhale. Two more, in breath. Gaze to the belly, last one, in breath. Exhale, and down, good job. All right, move the pelvis back. Okay, just a little bit. All right, the knees are slight, are bent, but they're sort of a sort of longer bent position. Take your arms forward, we're going to do some roll-ups. So, doing the modification first, and then we're going to the proper roll-up. So, sitting nice and tall, pulling that center in, rounding that back, and then we're gonna rock the pelvis back, 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 take the sacrum onto the floor, lower back, and then take your arms up overhead. We'll take the arms up, fall up by the head, lift, chest lift, and then we exhale, pull the belly in, lift up, up, up into that C curve. Inhale and exhale. If this is too challenging for you, you can have your hands on your thigh to help you down, that's all right. And then let's take your arms overhead. And then inhale into the chest lift. You can also grab the back of your thighs if you need to. Otherwise, join me. Arms are free by the side. Okay, again, exhale, rock the pelvis back. Rolling down, neck is long, chest is opened, and arms overhead. Watch the rib cage. Arms up, head lift, chest lift. Exhale, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. All right, now you're welcome to join me with a straight leg if that was pretty easy for you. So otherwise, you stay back with a bent knee position. So again, active abdominal, roll down, roll it back, and then get the arms overhead into a chest lift. Inhale, exhale, lift up into that C curve, pulling in that center. You can't really see in this baggy top. Pull in that center and then exhale, roll it back. Now, think about deep flexion in that lower abs, okay? And then take the arms over and then arms up, head lift, chest lift. Then exhale, pull, 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 pull. And then one more time, one more thing. Watch that head doesn't drop down and sink with you, okay? I wanna see the head over your arm. All right, go ahead and roll back again. Deep, deep flexion in the abdominal. And then take your arms overhead, ribs are down. Last one, arms up, lifting the chest. And exhale, pull it up, up, up. Well done. Sitting up nice and tall, okay? Flex the feet to you, open the feet. Hip width apart, slightly wider. Arms are long, palms facing each other. If this is a quite a tricky position for you, you're welcome to bend the knees or you can have a cushion underneath your bottom to help you to ease in that tightness in the hip flexures. Okay, otherwise, join me like so. In breath, nice and tall, growing up. And exhale, roll it down, rolling the spine, articulating down, and then tip forward a little bit. Inhale, hold. Exhale, articulate, stack the spine up one vertebrae at the time, lifting, lifting, body upright. Exhale, rolling down, down, then lengthening the spine too. Exhale, roll it up, create some length or more length in the spine as you come up. Two more, exhale, rounding, rolling forward, tipping the body forward, in breath. Exhale, rolling up, rolling up, rolling up, lift up tall. Last one, and an exhale, I'm not sure what I said last one before, but this is the last one here, in. Tip it up, inhale, and an exhale, roll it up, stack up the spine, and come up and then just reach the arms up to the ceiling. Reach out as far as, as you can up to the ceiling. Neck is long. And let it go. Good job. Turn your body towards me. Okay, we're gonna go into a sideline position. So, stretching the legs long. 
Here we go. All right, bottom arm is long. Okay. And I want you to not slouch in the bottom waist. I want you to pick up and actively draw the bottom waist up. All right, now we're gonna place your hands in front here. Now, hips aligned, feet and legs are the same length, so no slouching. All right, so reach out of your feet and out of your hips. Now from here, we're gonna bring the legs up and we go down. And again, exhale to draw the belly and bring the legs up and then down. And if you feel like, yep, you got your balance, bang on. We're gonna take your arms down by the side like so and lift and we go down. Again, lift, 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 lift. And if this is too much, place your hand back on front. It's okay. And then two more. And last one. And then lift it up and hold. You know what we're gonna do? Hold, hold, hold. We're gonna do some variation here. We're gonna flex the feet, reach the heel, pull that center, and then we point. And then two more, flex the feet, reach the heels, and then we point. Last one, flex, 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 and then point, point, point. Good job. All right, place the hand down. Bend the bottom knee forward like so. We're gonna reach the top leg low. Now we're gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just adding here a little gluteal series to stabilize the pelvis or to strengthen the glute muscles and the hips. Right, we're gonna just stabilize the pelvis. We're gonna reach the leg up and then down. And then two, you can just keep the leg or the foot nice and relaxed there. And then three, and then four. Stabilize the pelvis, five, and then six, and then seven, and then eight, two more, nine, and then 10, hold, we take it forward, hinging at the hip, up, down, and then back. Exhale, down, and back. Exhale, up, inhale, down, back. I lost count, I think it's four, oh gosh. And back, and five, up, and back. Pelvis is stable, up, and back, and seven, up, and back, and eight, up, and back and nine up and back and the last ten and back bring the leg forward hold stabilize the pelvis we're gonna drop it down as you breathe out four five two three four five we inhale five four three two one we feel the burn bring the leg back 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 and then release good job all right come up Come up into a little mermaid position here. Okay, now we're gonna reach the arms out, lifting my left side, my left leg is in front here. And I'm gonna reach over into a lateral stretch. Inhale, lengthen, grow tall, and then come up. And I want you to tip the body into diagonal position here. Your spine is still long, your arms is long. And then go ahead and reach up, and into a lateral flexion, a side bend on the right side. Okay, and coming up, release. Other side, same thing. Okay, so we start with the side lift first. All right, adjust the body, make sure in one straight line, hands in front of the body first, and then waistline comes up on the underneath side, and then lift it up. And then we go down, and then lift. And if you have your balance spot on, and let's take your arms down to the side here. Otherwise, you can leave your arm in front of your body. And exhale, and we go down. And again, three, and we go down. Ooh, I'm a little bit rocky here. And we go down, and the last one, hold, 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 whoa. All right, I'm gonna put my hand in front here. Apparently I'm not balanced enough, so we're gonna flex the heel, feet, and then we point, hold that center, flex, and then we point, and then we flex, and then we point, and then two more, and then we point, and then last one, reach, 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 and release. Okay, onto our gluteal series, so bottom legs bent, 
and top leg is long. Again, your waist is still active, reaching the hip, top hip away, lifting the leg up, balancing, start the balancing, um, yeah, stabilizing the pelvis. Lost my thought there. We're gonna lift it up and then down. And on for 10 in total, and on three, and four, and five, keep the waist active, six, and seven, eight, and nine. Last one, 10, coming forward, forward, up, down, and then back. Flexing at the hip, we'll lift, and down, and back, and then three, up, and back, and four, up, and back, and five, up, and back, and six, Breathing goes, and an exhale, and an inhale, eight, and a nine, and the last 10, and back, let's take the leg forward, relax the foot, and we're gonna drop it for five, four, three, two, one, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, take it back, take it back, take it back. Good job, all right. All right, let's come up onto a little mermaid position here. So my right leg in front like so. Have my right arm up, reach it out, and lateral flex my body to the left. And an inhale, reach, two, three, and an up. Onto a T, arm position, lean away, bottom arm down, back is long, and then go ahead and soften the bottom elbow as you take your body into a lateral flexion to the right here. And an inhale, grow tall, do not slouch, grow as tall as you can, neck is easy, and coming up, good work. All right, we got one more exercise, and then we're on to a rest position, so onto our belly, for a basic back extension, arms long by the side here. So glue this palm towards on the side of your thigh. All right, from here, I'm gonna exhale as you draw the abdominal up. Okay, I, wanna, I don't want you to lift the bottom up, but I want you to just scoop the lower abs up. And I'm gonna slide the arms down as you inhale, pulling the chest up, like so. And then, down. Inhale, arms gliding down, shoulder blades gliding down, and then articulating the body up, 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 neck is long, and then exhale. Again, inhale, lifting up, reaching up, pulling up, long neck, gaze, still want to fall a little bit, but further distant, and exhale, two more. Inhale, reach it up, lift it up, Coming up, arms long, and exhale. Last one, and an inhale. Reach, thighs are active, legs are active, arms are long, and exhale. Good job, hands underneath the shoulder. Push the body off, bring that pelvis to the thighs, not the thighs, the heels. All right, I'm gonna reach my arms away. And I'm just gonna relax my body down. Okay, we're just gonna inhale here. And exhale. And two more, inhale. And exhale. Well, deserve rest for your hard work. And the last one. And we're gonna roll the spine up. Roll it up and coming into a nice upright sitting position. Well done, good job. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. Please visit all the other beginner level classes in this channel. We have a variety of beginner Pilates classes and I hope to see you in one of those classes. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel. Leave comments below and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Have a fantastic day. Thank you.